Good morning, Maggie. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Oh, he's already blocking the camera out, even Merry though he's looking Christmas cute this day. morning. <laughs> We're about to go to the gym, so you gotta go to the room. Whiskey will eat you. She will eat you. You ready, Cut Bear? Yes, you are. Stop lying. Every Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. Putting on the show for everybody. To give him a smile. Stop it, you're so cute. Dakota Brown. Don't say my full name on Dakota your... Lee Brown. Sean Michael Murray. Sean McQueen. <laughs> Oh, demonetized. How was your workout, Coda Bear? Great. Coda Bear Lee. <sighs> I wore sweats today, like sweatpants, and I sweat so much. I see why they're called sweatpants now. Shut up, Coda. <laughs> I've been wearing shorts. Uh, but it's getting, you know, like really cold outside. So I was like, I need a pair of sweats to wear to the gym. And they made me sweat so much. Oh, that's not a road. It's another parking lot. I thought it was right. I was like, someone's gonna come out right in front of me. There's another nice truck. Me and Coda want a truck. Big old truck. A big old truck. Where to now, Coda Bear? Oh. The coffees. I think. No. I think I want a cold coffee. Look at my sweat underneath. <laughs> oh wait, that's a stain. That's a stain. Never mind. Yeah. I thought. Stop pretending that you work for. <sighs> I'm a gym bro. Do you live, bro? No. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I want cold coffee this morning. What do you think? You seem upset. Okay, fine. Cool coffee. Let's go. Well, I was Before thinking. I, my mic. I was thinking like Java Monster. No. We're gonna cold coffee. We're gonna cold coffee, right? What? Dunkin'. Yeah. I'm a Starbucks babe. I don't like. I don't like Dunkin' that much. I mean, if Koda wants Dunkin', we'll go get it. But I don't enjoy. it. Don't reverse psychology. <laughs> Ooh, I could sleep a little more this morning. We gotta get some coffee. Coda's gonna have some breakfast. What, oatmeal? <laughs> and then I need to get a shower. I gotta get ready for church. I was gonna go to a new church, but I don't wanna go alone. I think I could go alone after the first couple times, but not for the first time. I just don't, I don't want to do that. So I'll just go to the church that my sister goes to. It's a little froggy today. Yeah, it's very foggy. Mom's coming over today to do a budget. You think she'll stick to it? You think she will? Yeah. She told me she was paying like $190 for her dish service and I was like, are you kidding right now? Like, that is insane. $190. So she is switching to a different company and downgrading her package because she also found out that like no one in the house watches the stuff that is that they're paying for. Um, and I forgot to tell you that she talked to dad about it and dad didn't even fight her on it. And not weird. He was just like, okay. But I want to keep the home phone. They still have a home phone. Koda wants a home phone too, though. He's old fashioned like that. Anything else we need to inform the kids about? I don't think so. We also haven't decorated the tree yet. We got to do that today. Let's tell everybody that. I'm in the wrong lane. <sighs> 
So yeah, I guess we're gonna run to Duncan then. Just pulled up the church. Time to go praise the Lord. Oh, there's the fam. Hi, Pumpkin. Hi, Ethan. Where's your mom? Uh oh. Finally. I enjoyed the sermon quite a bit today. We are moving into Christmas sermons, Christmas holiday talk. And the message was about hope today. And it was really good. Hope and giving. <gasps> Music demonetized. Alexa, pause. I hear the vacuum. What's going on in here? I have to tell Coda something and I think he's gonna be upset. Hi. I have to tell you something. What? I signed us up for something. Did you just roll your eyes? Yeah. It's fun. It is. It's building a gingerbread house. With Pumpkin and Bubby. Look who's back for round two. We're on our way to Walmart. Yay. No, I did not take a two hour nap. Coda is always just smiling, that's it. <laughs> Say something to the kids, Coda. Hi, kids. Oh, gosh. What are we getting from Walmart? What do you even need, Mom? I need to talk to Santa. To talk to Santa? Yes. <laughs> because I told the kids this morning that I was gonna go visit Santa and let them know what they wanted for Christmas. Woohoo! Even though Brittany already told them that Santa's not real. Brittany, Caroline. Did you not know that? No. Yeah, she already told them Santa's not real. Well, I already knew that Isabel has known since last year. She started saying that Santa was not real. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know Bubby. Did Bubby fall for it too? They fall for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did, yep. Ethan fell for it too. Uh-huh. Well, they said they seen Santa yesterday, and they told Santa what they wanted for Christmas. Isabel also asked if Elf on a Shelf was real. And? Brittany didn't want to give that one up. Oh, but she gave up Santa. Yeah. She, she didn't want- Santa under the sleigh. Yep. And because she has so much fun doing that elf stuff. But she don't have fun doing Santa. Yeah. So she didn't want to give it up. She said, um, I'm not sure. Ask me again in a couple days. And Isabel hasn't asked her yet. <laughs> well, they told me that the elves were in the Christmas tree this morning. Uh-huh. See? One was brushing their teeth. The other was flossing. <laughs> is that a surprise? Nope. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, my sister is a dental assistant. <laughs> me and Coda have to get... He said that we can look for my neon shirts that I wanted. There's Santa. Where? There's Santa. Take a left. Take, I ain't taking a left. Where did I'll you see him? I'll come back for you, Santa. I don't see And, do you remember what else, Coda? Do they have to be neon? Yes. Since when does it matter what color? 
because I saw a neon green one and I want it. If I'm not mistaken, I do believe you told one of your brothers or maybe your sisters mm -hmm. that you guys only own pink shirts. Pink! <laughs> I don't even have a pink shirt that I can wear anymore because somebody <laughs> washes all of our clothes in hot water. That's Coda, by the way. <laughs> you want to clean? Actually, the thing that we have to get has to do with laundry. Fabric uh, softener. Dryer sheets. Dryer sheets. <laughs> <laughs> the blankets that I made for uh, Isabel and Braxton, I pulled them out of the dryer and I had to peel clothing off of them. <laughs> they, they were there was so much static. So I need dryer sheets to and Coda hates dryer sheets. Stop! It's not like an allegedly like. <laughs> this is true facts. This is not allegations. It's an early December morning, no one but we are. We look out the window as it's starting to snow, and I realize as you head. Okay, okay, so while we were at Walmart, we're doing bad stuff, you guys. It's not bad. Okay, so while we were at Walmart, we got these wands for the kids for Christmas, okay? So we got this green one, which we assumed was Slytherin, but it's not. Um, they've got some people that aren't Slytherin. Um, George Weasley's on here. Sybil Trelawney. Yeah. What was she? She was the... I know Ooh. who she is, but like, what was she? Like, yeah, what house? Oh, yeah, no, she's a full Seems house. like a Hufflepuff. <laughs> um, and then all the here's the other one. So I'm a Slytherin and so is my nephew, Ethan. So we got him the green one, which we assumed was Slytherin, but it's not. So these are mystery things from Walmart. They have a wand inside of them and we're opening them <laughs> because we want to know which ones they got. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're gonna show you guys. <sighs> okay, which one we got first? That one. that one. Okay, so this one, here's what they, they come in at this box. So this one, Harry Potter, that's for Braxton. And here's the wand. And they have like, um, let me just flip you around here since we're, Okay, so here's Harry's wand. And they're just like collectible things. They come with like a stand and something else. We didn't open it all the way up to see what all was inside. So which one do you have, Elizabeth? I have Ginny. Okay, so the other one is Ginny Weasley. That's for my niece. Ooh, that one's pretty. That one is really pretty. Oh my gosh, that almost looks like a unicorn horn. Oh my gosh. I wonder if like when you open it up, it says what they are, you know, uh -huh. like what they're made out of. Do you have the last one, Mom? No, oh, I think uh, this here is the display that's inside there. Oh, there it is. So this is also should be inside the box. I doubt that everyone else's is on a tombstone. Um, no, Jenny's is on the... These ones are the same. Yeah. Okay, so these ones have... So they're called Magical... This one that we thought was Gryffindor is actually called Magical Creatures. And here's what the stand looks like. It's got an owl and then Hogwarts. And it'll probably say the name at the bottom. That one says Harry Potter. And then the Slytherin one, this one is called Magical Artifacts. There's Magical Artifacts. And then the base, 
This one says Voldemort on it. Maybe the bases are like specific. I couldn't see everyone in this patch package having a tombstone. But I'll show you guys after they get opened on Christmas Day. Because these are just too cool. But anyway, so we got Harry Potter and Ginny Weasley. And then Mom is going to open that one back up. Okay, and show us what we got from the green one. Yeah, just slide straight out. So that's how they come out. And then they're in this box. And it's a mystery what you get. There's nine different ones in each. We got Voldemort. So that one is for Bubby, <laughs> Ethan, because he's a Slytherin. How lucky that we got Voldemort. Why won't it focus? Mom, it wants to focus on you. Oh, it's because she's a star. <laughs> she's a star. There we go. Because it's Sagittarius season. So how wise. lucky, how lucky we got, first of all, hang on, let me flip her. How lucky that, first of all, we got two guys and a girl, and then we got Harry and Voldemort. Coda, are we going to start collecting them? He's biting his nails over there. He's like, I want that. Ah. Everyone is gone. I'm about to get in my pajamas and have my 99 night tea. This is my 99 night tea. It's Yogi Soothing Caramel Bedtime. This isn't the one that we usually like. I think that the other one that we get is actually just called Bedtime. This one has... Caramel flavor, vanilla flavor, cinnamon bark oil, cardamom seed oil, organic ginger root oil. The other one has like lavender, some other things. It's like super sweet. If we pick up that other one, I'll show you guys, but that one's my favorite. But I've really been enjoying like having 990. <laughs> it's like at the end of the day, I'm drinking this thing that isn't going to keep me up. It's actually going to like make me ready to go to sleep. So I'm going to drink this and I'm going to knit a little stocking. Um, I'll tell you more about the stockings later. I'll set you up for a time lapse so that you can um, watch me crochet. Did I say knit? I meant crochet. <laughs> if I said if I said knit, I meant crochet. I'll set you guys up for a time lapse so you can watch me crochet the stocking. And I'm going to have my 990. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne. Crocheting was interrupted by Coda, reminding me that we have to get up early to go to the gym. Alexa, what time is it? So I spent about 20 minutes. I had a lot of interruptions. My yarn just was not cooperating. Normally, so I got just past the heel turn which is not actually a heel turn. Let's see if we can focus on this here. Oh, look at how cute. It's like a little baby sock. I love this little stocking pattern. It makes these a little base stockings that you can either like make a, what's this called? Garland, is that what it's called? That people hang like this? Yeah, garland, you can make a little, I feel like it's not called a garland though when you hang stuff like this on it. Let me know in the comments if you know what, what the hell I'm talking about, because I don't. You know what I'm saying, like a garland, like hang them on the garland for decoration and stuff like that. I also wanna make some little gloves. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, some little mittens. Hi, Maggie. You wanna come up here and say hi to the people? Look at her, she's so cute. If you're wondering, she is a German Shepherd Boxer mix. You can see a lot of the Boxer in her. Coda got her from a friend from work. She was the runt of her litter. Yes, you were. You got puppy breath. I bet the kids love the puppy breath. She is, how old is she, Coda? Two weeks? Six weeks. 
I meant two months. <laughs> I don't know why I said weeks. So she's a month and a half. Um, and she loves biting. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Stop that. I got you these. I got you these little things. Look. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at her so cute. Okay, go chew on that. Go chew on that, and then we'll talk. I cannot remember where I found the stocking pattern. It was free. It was on YouTube somewhere. Um, if I can't find it, I might just put it here in Vlogmas, how to do the pattern. I need to preserve it in some way if I ever need to come back to it. But this, I just added this here. So that actually came from, trying to remember the name. Because I saw a stocking that just came out this year that has like this faux braid on it. And I wanted to incorporate that into one of the stockings because I would like the stockings to not just be like all plain, plain Jane stockings. But I love this faux cable that she put into her stocking. So I was like, I'll just put it into my little mini one. I'll have to show you guys my full, my full size stockings um, that I made for me and Coda. Um, I can't believe I haven't shown you guys those yet. They're behind me back there. I wonder if I can grab them. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the focus. Oh my goodness. They're back there on the keychain holder. And then it just comes back and focus. Oh my gosh. What a time to be alive. I'm almost through my tea. There we go, the last of it. So I will have to finish this stocking tomorrow morning. Um, one of the other things I love about the stocking pattern is this isn't an actual heel, like in the way that it's formed. It's actually worked this way and then it's closed up in the back. So you work it flat off of the, so this is done in the round. Everything is done in the round, except when you get to this part, it's done flat. So you just like do half of the stitches back four rows and then you close up the heel and then you pick stitches up from along here to continue going around for the rest of the stocking. Very cool, very, very cool. And it works up very quickly. I can do one of them in like 20, 25 minutes, something like that. Doesn't take very long at all. I'm outside now and I wanna tell you guys what those stockings are for, but Coda's right inside and it's something for him. So I gotta wait for him to leave. Okay, okay, he's gone. So. That is for his advent. I am making 12 stockings so I can do a 12 day advent for him. I'm gonna hang it on the wall and like, I think I'm gonna get some tree limbs and do like, um, like a Christmas tree sh Look how cold it is right now, I'm frozen. Do like a Christmas tree shape um, out of the stockings hanging on limbs. I think that'll be so fun. Um, but I haven't totally decided what I want to put into these Advent stockings. So the only thing that I have so far is, um, like maybe, um, a couple pieces of like chocolate. He really likes, um, like, uh, Lindor chocolates, um, and also some scratch offs. But I want something else in there, like something else more fun. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. But anyway, it is time for me to go to bed. Um, good night. Thank you for hanging out for another day of Vlogmas. I'm having so much fun talking to you guys and stuff. Um, but I gotta get my butt in bed so I can get up for the gym. So, good night, and I will see you in the morning for some coffee. Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the prayer. Making sure you've been